Hi, my name is Marvelous. Welcome to my channel. On this broadcast, I'll continue on the key to changing your story. This is part two of the series. I declare that this was minister grace that enabled the hearers to live a life of dominion and testimonies are bound from this message in the name of Jesus. I said in part one of this series that for us to change our story, we have to change our inner world because our outer world is a reflection of our inner world. Changing our inner world includes the change of our beliefs, our thoughts, and our feelings. Our minds have been conditioned over the years by the various informations we have been fed with by our parents, friends, childhood teachers, societies, the media, and other influences. After we come to Christ, God gives us his word, the scriptures, so that we can have new ways of thinking, which guarantees a life of righteousness, success, greatness, and prosperity. As a Christian, one of the beautiful things you can do for yourself is to always build in your mind the right pictures about what you want to be or have in life from the scriptures. In Christ Jesus, our minds have been enabled and empowered to think right. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 16 says that we have the mind of Christ. If your story is not expressive of the abundant life in Christ Jesus, then there are some old files, some old beliefs you have to delete from your mental drive you have to reprogram your subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind dictates more than 90% of our lives. So, no matter the efforts we put in for a change, it will always be overpowered by the beliefs in our subconscious mind. Hence, the scripture says in the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2, that be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. How does our subconscious mind work? Our subconscious mind sees in pictures. When you have a thought, a mental picture is generated by the thought. Let's say you think, I'm broke. This is not consistent with your glorious life in Christ Jesus. But notice the mental pictures these negative thoughts generate in your mind. I am broke. You may be seeing an empty purse or negative bank account and perhaps bills yet to be paid. When you generate a mental picture with your thoughts, you are tapping into your subconscious mind. For you to have your change or get your desire manifested, you have to consciously pick new thoughts that are in agreement with your fulfilled desire. Thoughts that elicit mental picture that makes you feel good about your fulfilled desire. Don't forget, you have to believe that you have received your desire according to the principle in Mark chapter 11 verse 24. For instance, if you say, I am rich, 
that may not generate a mental picture because it is quite encompassive. But when you go a bit more detail, saying, my bank account is overflowing, this definitely generates a mental picture. You most likely be seeing your bank accounts with numerous deposits and good figures. Always choose thoughts pattern that give you a mental picture. The more you see something visually in your mind, the more you are impressing your subconscious mind. You have to ensure your subconscious mind is in alignment with your fulfilled desire. The other important point is repetition. You have to repeat the words to yourself and see the mental pictures as much as you can throughout the day or days as the case may be. Remember you have to override the old program. You have to build momentum with your repetition until the old file, the old belief in your mental drive are deleted. This is how we pull down the mental stronghold that hinders the manifestation of our desire. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Once you get a new program running in your subconscious mind, that is consistent with your fulfilled desire, it will begin to reflect in your outer world. We have the story of Abraham to explain this further. Although God told him in Genesis chapter 13 verse 16 saying, I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth. Abraham was still wumbling in his faith. He didn't catch the vision from those words. God had to help him to get a clear picture. Genesis chapter 15 verses 5 and 6 says, And God brought him forth abroad and said, Look toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them, so shall thy seed be. Then Abraham believed in the Lord. He believed because his mind had now formed a picture. God gave him the new picture and changed his name from Abraham to Abraham. This helped him to pull down the mental stronghold he had against childbearing. Thank you for visiting my channel. Please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for notification of new content.